PS5 and also Burger King? What? As we all know, it's been really hard to get the PS5 or the Xbox Series. Now, obviously, I was able to get it early, and I was very fortunate to get it because I got really lucky to get both. In fact, I got more than one PS5 consoles pre-ordered. Now, for the rest of you guys, I know that today there was another opportunity to get one, which most of you more than likely did not get it, and that was for AntOnline.com. I've never heard of that website before, but I did try to go this morning to see what was going on with that, or I guess it was 2 p.m. Eastern time is when I tried it, and as soon as I went on it, the site was down. So I'm pretty sure you guys had no chance of getting it either. So it's very limited in getting a PS5 pre-order unless you go to eBay. Until now. Now, if you guys missed the opportunity to see a tweet from Burger King yesterday, well, they did something that was pretty epic. So let's take a look what they did. If you guys were able to follow Burger King on Twitter, which I, I personally don't follow them, but I was able to find that they tweeted something that hinted towards the PlayStation 5. And what happened to that after that tweet was PlayStation actually retweeted their tweet and it pretty much confirmed that something's gonna happen on the 15th. All right, so let's read the article. Sony announced a new promotion in conjunction with Burger King to give gamers a shot at getting their own PS5. Starting October 15th through November 22nd, purchasing the two for $5 at any Burger King in the US will have a chance at winning a PlayStation 5. Of course, there is a specific way to enter the PS5 Burger King promotion. So let's go ahead and see what you have to do. Now it says, first, hungry gamers will need to register on the BK app or BK.com to participate in the BK PS5 promotion. When a guest purchases a two for $5 deal, or makes a $5 plus purchase on the BK app, bk.com or in restaurant, the guest will earn one game token. Guests can then use the game token to play the digital scratch off game in the BK app or bk.com for a chance to win a PS5 console, PlayStation game codes or BK coupons. Now I wanna dive a little bit deeper into this topic. Now, I think it's a great thing that you're allowed a, an opportunity to actually win a PS5. But when you really stop to think about it, if you remember correctly, Microsoft and also Sony said they did not have too many consoles to actually sell people. And both of them are giving consoles away. So Microsoft's giving away uh, Xbox Series X when you go to Taco Bell, and Sony is giving away PS5s when you go to Burger King. Now that's great that people have an opportunity, even though the chances are slim to none, because not only do you have to keep purchasing things for at least $5, you then get a token and you have an opportunity to win it. And then on the Microsoft side, you have to keep buying those medium drinks at Taco Bell, or medium or large drinks, sorry. And you keep buying them and you have an opportunity to win. Now, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are going to win this stuff, right? But when you look at it, how many consoles is that? Because if it's taking place in the whole US, and there's a bunch of stores out there of restaurants, then what's gonna happen to all the extra consoles? You know, you had an opportunity to give the consoles to people or actually sell it to them, and now you're trying to let them win it. And I don't know, I, I just feel that this stuff should have been taking place after launch. You know, you shouldn't even put any of that stuff out there during launch, especially this launch, because it's so limited how many consoles are available. So I have an issue with that, but I still think it's pretty cool that they're doing this and you guys that did not get a chance to pre-order have an opportunity to win one. Um, there's one other thing too. Sony, as we all know, never gave out to different uh, media or anyone else. They didn't give any consoles to them. You know, they did do a few people in Japan, but besides that, there's been no one in the US for media that got a chance to get a PS5 early. So it's kind of funny, instead of them promoting it through media, they're actually just, giving it to Burger King to give out to people. So, I don't know, I'm, it's, it's a mixed feelings right now that it's a good thing and it's also a bad thing because it didn't give you guys an opportunity to pre-order so you can actually pay with your own money for something that you're willing to pay for. 
So I digress. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. Can you believe Burger King and you know Sony are actually working together? That's something that I don't think Burger King's ever done. I don't think Burger King's ever gave away a console before. So I'm kind of looking forward to Sneak King 2, I guess, for the PS5. I'll probably buy it. This is Hector from Not Too Nerdy. I'm out. See you, YouTube.